Today's video, we are going to do an unboxing of some wheel chocks, but first, just want to do a quick walk around of the car, because I've been told I need to show off my car a little bit more. A little bit dirty, dusty, need to do some cleaning. Uh, so this channel is all about this car, but that is not what today's video is about. Today's video is about unboxing. Um, here I got a pile of stuff, not unboxing all of it, just this guy right here. So, um, but just really quick, this is the cold air intake from Mopar that makes that front scoop functional. I will be doing an install video on that in the future. Um, active exhaust deletes from Chaos Motorsports. Uh, may or may not use those. I don't know yet. Um, so I'm going to do another trick, another video breather um, for the crankcase valve I'll do a video on that I got some Lux stuff um, some tent kits for side markers PPF protection for the door handles and a decal for the back uh, taillight section so that'll be another video I actually also have oops, AFE intake I bought this before I learned that this would work on the car um, so I need to go back to Summit and return this. And this is the intake tube that goes with this. I may use this intake tube, depending what the one that comes with this looks like. Anyway, that's not a video. But this is what today's video is about. This box is a set of race ramps wheel chocks. All right, so let's go ahead, open this sucker up. Packing material. Oh, a wine voucher. That's interesting to come interesting thing to come with auto parts. Receipt. Um, I like to buy a lot of my stuff from Summit Racing. A little catalog, the truck catalog. Hmm, interesting. I like stickers. Add that to my collection. And here we have Race ramps, RRC5 racer chalk box, 626-2020. Wow, these were just made, um, which makes sense because when I ordered them, they were back ordered at Summit. And there they are. I just got two of these, one for each wheel. else in the box no packing material but you don't need it not for these but no stickers race ramps where is the sticker I like stickers give me some stickers anyway so here are the chocks see this side goes against the wheels now the reason I got these um, first primarily safety um, I will be jacking up this car quite a bit um, for a lot of things, first the active exhaust that will be happening soon, but also oil changes. Uh, there's no way I'm getting underneath this splitter <laughs> or this body to get the oil changes, especially since you have to get down there for the filter, remove the belly pan, all that. So for the first time ever, I'm going to have to jack up my car just to do oil changes. I've always driven trucks. I can get under them for oil changes. Even this Avenger right here, um, you can see it, it sits a pretty good distance from the ground. It's enough for me to squirm a, just enough under there to get the oil plug um, to do an oil change. And the oil filter on that on the V6 is on top. So I never even had to jack that up. But this car I will. So these are necessary so that when I jack up the car, put these in front of the wheel, keep it from rolling. So it's a safety thing. Uh, but second, these are the wider 12-inch ones. They sell the uh, lesser narrower ones um i think they're a little bit cheaper these were actually 20 bucks a piece so 40 dollars um, plus shipping came out to basically 50 dollars i could have saved some money because i'm in dallas and summit racing has a big new warehouse down uh, in arlington which is about uh, roughly an hour a little over hour drive for me but in this case i just had them shipped um, but the other thing they're good for is set them right there uh, because they're a little bit wider, they're the full width of the tire. Which 
direction. Let's see. Side view, they're actually wider than the tire. Um, another thing that they're good for is I'm going to leave them there because they kind of work like parking blocks. So normally I'm pretty good at parking right in the same area of my garage. Um, so I'm just going to leave them there and that way they tell me I'm parked far enough forward, which this car had plenty of space. You can see, but I like to have more room in front so I can work on it and then leave the back just enough to where my garage door can close. So I know not very too exciting of a video, uh, just unboxing some wheel chocks, uh, race ramps. They do make some pretty awesome, uh, ramps and wheel cribs and things like that i would love to get their uh, ramps low profile ramps they have ones you can just drive up on so instead of jacking up the car you just drive up on the ramps um, and they have low profile ones so that the splitter won't hit won't drag against or scrape against the ground they're actually pretty good if you look in my delivery day video uh, watch the portion where they're unloading this car off the truck and you'll see he pulls out a couple uh, ramp extensions and you can't quite make it out, but you can tell that they are the race ramp brands uh, and they're kind of ramp extensions to uh, raise up the trailer, ramp, the normal trailer ramps so that they don't hit the spoiler. So this is a pretty good brand, uh, race ramps. If you're watching this video, I'd love to be sponsored. Send me a set of those low profile ramps. I love them. Um, <laughs> the only reason I don't have them is they're, they're pretty pricey. Uh, they're like 300 bucks or something like that. Uh, it is some kind of a high dense foam, um, which some people don't like because they're like foam, but this is, listen to that. That's, I'm not sure what kind of foam that is, but that's pretty hard. So anyway, that's the whole point of this video. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.